people to Islam, um, talking about theology because it makes sense. Talking about Jesus, talking about everyone. different religions. No, no, not really, because you know, as Muslims, we oh, believe right. in Jesus. So then, oh, one of the Islamic principles See, is like, know you know. No, we don't. So, we Polish live and learn. Educa educational system like that. Polish. Polish. Are you from Poland? Yeah. Okay. I would not have guessed, but so. I don't blame you. Shows how, shows how bad I am at geography. Problem. Take a guess. Same. I'm so bad at geography. Yeah, no. Um, Bangladesh. Bangladesh. I wouldn't even say. Is it? Ah, fair enough. Maybe because I never met anybody from Bangladesh. How can you know? So how long have you been in the UK for? Eight years. In eight, eight years? The Bangladeshi person I know. How is that possible? What do you mean? What, what area are you from? Met people, Polish people you oh, Yeah, yeah. Met plenty yeah, of Polish I'm people. Bad, yeah. I know. I used to know a bit of Polish as well. I knew... Please don't swear. No, 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 no. I was young, so Polish. I learned. I learned how to say you have beautiful eyes. Oh wow! Try to say that. I forgot it now. I was young a long time ago. I'm an old man now. Listen, you know I mean? Bangladeshi is a language, and you speak it. Yes. And I love to ask my friends, and this is out of what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. But just before we go to that. Yeah, yeah. Um. I have friends and like they teach me how to say love, like in Arabic is hub. Love. Yeah, mahabba. How would you say in Bangladeshi love? Just love. Um, balabashi. Balabashi. Yeah. Balabashi. That's Bangladeshi for love. Thank you so much. That's, no, that's no, why no I keep in my notes. So. Um, in you? Hindi, yeah. it's menepiakia. Oh, 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 right. oh sorry. God. And then uh, Mirijan, right? Mirijan, okay. Mirijan. In Urdu, that means that means my love. But how yeah. do you say, like, no, it means my heart, my jan. Okay. But how do you say in Urdu? I should know this. Urdu. Um, you should know this. Yeah. yeah. How many languages do you speak? <laughs> I should speak. I speak English, Bengali, Binglish, Urdu, Hindi. Um, I'm trying to learn Arabic. Yeah. A um, little bit of Croatian. No way. Yeah. Kakoche. Kakoche zobish. Kakoche zobish. Um, bog super. Okay, what's that? Um, bog means good. Bog is for everything. Bog. Oh, yeah, bog. I went to Croatia the other month. But the funny thing is. I do look Croatian, people say. <laughs> Maybe I would say more Italian, but Italian and Croatia are very close together. Yeah. But business, business, business. What's your business here? Business is connecting you with a creator. Do you believe in a creator? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. Not in a form of a person or a name. Yeah. I don't believe the creator is a person either. Yeah. What do you mean? Like the creator doesn't have a name. The creator created you, created me, yeah. without a way to recognize the creator, to connect with the creator. Is that what you're telling me? You can find it here, but it's also, all of this is created from the same thing, right? We so are made from the same thing. What do you mean? Same energy, same, we are made from the same particles, we just have different energy. How do you know? We, where is this coming from? What's your name, by the way, madam? Coco. Coco. What's your name? I don't shake hands. I'm gonna give you my leaflet. Why don't you shake hands? You do this. No, because Islamically, I don't have the right to touch a woman that I'm not related to or oh, right. not I in think... any contact with. All right, interesting. How do you feel about that? Um, fine. Yeah. Don't have any feeling. Just wow, that's new. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I am the first Bengali you've met. How many Muslims have you met? Sorry. Um, nice one. Few. Yeah, I live with some. Is it? Because I think everyone's on a different journey. But the fact of the matter is. If you're adhering to the scripture, it gives you a perfect guidance. So we say the Quran is a perfect guidance from God, perfectly preserved. Um, it was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, who was a messenger sent by God, chosen by God to articulate the message. And he, through the permission of God, through the angel Gabriel, articulate for us a complete way of life. It sounds familiar, because I did have a, you know, I grew up Catholic, so. Yeah. But unfortunately, with Kafafism, 
Oh, wait. Catholicism. 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 No, that's something different. No? Yeah. Catholic. But it's fine. I'm going to take your... I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree with you. So this is also my second language. No, no, it's fine. Um, technically, this is my second language. I don't know. I was born in this country, so I don't think... I think English it's is my first, first language. English is my first language. Where was I? Um, with the people of the Catholic faith, we share the prophet Jesus. Yes. But we see him as a mighty messenger um, yes. sent by God. He's not part of God. He's not... Okay. You know what I mean? How yeah. do you feel about that? Children. Yeah, you come across I mean, work we all have children. different perspectives. We all, yeah. we all been taught different things, also. Yeah. But how do you know what's right? Uh, we don't. What's you right? live your life not knowing what's right. If it, I feel it here, if I'm doing something right and I know it's good and it's good for the person, I feel that it's right. So you go through life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a difference. I don't? I, I'm not really following Catholic. No, no, no. Teachings like, oh, you know, Jesus was this, he wasn't that. It's like, chill. Okay. He did his bit for us, you know? Okay. Um, okay, do you pres. I know the answer to this. Yeah, do you subscribe to any specific religion? Not really, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but they all very resemble, they have very similar ideas. They teach how to live very similar lifestyles. I want to connect with children. you. Huh? <laughs> Without touching women in your case. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to joke. No, 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 no it's fine, it's fine. Up. I think it's even in, in Catholic so and um, Christianity, they had the same, same rules. Does it make sense? Because like I said, as m and Catholic, yes. but man-made elements went into it. So, so Catholicism was a... But let, let, let's leave that because it's not something you believe, it's not something I believe. Yeah. I want to connect with what you believe okay. and then see if you can kind of reconcile that. You so, are, you are, wait, you're recording something. Oh, are you recording me? I'm recording me. Okay, Calm but, down. Well, you should ask me my permission. Can I record you? You have already recorded me. I can blur you out, can by the way. Can you use it? Um, don't we can, use my face. Uh, you can use my blur voice. it out. You can use my voice. You can't use my face. How about that? That's fine. If you want, you can go on our channels. We'll blur everyone. Whenever you request Because when my family sees it, they'll be like, what are you chatting, what are you, what are you chatting about? Yeah. They're quite religious. I like them. Polish people. Polish people are very, very practicing Christians, and clearly yeah, you are yeah, not. Yeah. I, I manifest it, even. What do you manifest? Uh, kind of like a spiritual side of me. But, all right, right now, mm -hmm. just a quick recap. Yeah. You don't know what's right. You just go based on what's in your heart, what feels right. Yeah. So by extension you don't know what is wrong unless it feels wrong yeah now how would you now if you give me an example of something which is wrong if to you, you do something for yourself but then you see that somebody specific example example when's the last time something wrong happened or you've experienced something wrong you've seen oh something wrong um, Really? You have to think yeah. that hard? I try not to give you this example that just happened because it's complicated. Um, yeah, keep it simple. I'm a man. Keep it simple. Oh my gosh. Um, when you live a good life. Last live a very sheltered life. No, no, no. I'm just thinking of a really good example. No, I'm just ambitious here. Not ambitious. I'm just trying to make it simple. Maybe I live complicated life. Maybe. Um, what felt wrong was... Well, what is wrong? Murder. Oh yeah, obviously. It's not my example. I've not tried that. No. Are you sure? <laughs> no, maybe you felt like killing someone in your life. Oh, this gosh. is wrong. I'm not going to do it. Oh gosh. Murder is wrong. Murder is wrong. Um, causing harm to other people is wrong. Or animals, yeah. Okay. Now, murder is wrong, right? Yeah. Imagine, yeah, we caught Hitler. Yeah. Should there be a capital punishment? Should he be killed? Like murder, killing, it's all wrong, right? So. <laughs> you want my answer? Yeah. All right. This is very interesting um, interview. I did. I did try. Okay. I did try. So. 
Hitler has his own learning to do, which I can't, you know, really force. So, no, I wouldn't kill Hitler. I wouldn't kill anybody. Okay. So, you wouldn't kill anybody? No. So that's wrong? Yes. Okay. Now... Well, extreme situation is somebody is about to kill my mom. You know? <laughs> Can't. It's bad, it's wrong, but my, there's a chance to do it, you know? So, emotions. to save your mom... It's out of emotions. To yeah. save your mom, you will kill thing? someone. Because I will justify it. But it's still wrong. I wouldn't say it's right. But how do you know what is wrong and right? It's just subjective to you. It's your opinion. It's based on your feelings. Yeah, it's, it's because and your of feelings. the first thing I told you. Because I believe our souls have things to learn to, in order to get to You didn't really life. say that. No, that's literally the first tell thing. Tell me, tell me, tell me. So you said it was my purpose in life. So I'm, le I'm learning for my soul to go to heaven. But if it doesn't, then you will have to go So you believe again. in a soul? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, so is there a tray of the soul? Kind of like we all have it. So you, we all have it. I agree. We all have a soul. I just want to understand where you're at in regards to your belief. So, is there a creator of the soul? So what I believe is that the soul that we have, it all comes from one, from one place. The, you can call it creator. Yeah. We all share it. It all comes from one place. Was it not created, the soul? The soul was created. I visualize it like it was split to us all, but it was created. Was it always there? A lot, a lot That's of... That's very deep. I, I don't know how I, know, how I can know that. We're getting there. I can, I can read it in a, in a book. We're, yeah. we're getting there, we're getting there. Yeah. And I think to call it a book, it's not Sorry. doing it justice. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. It is what it is, it's, a, it's literally a book. But the fact that it's been perfectly preserved, the message is perfect, um, it right. talks about science gets it right, talks about history, makes prophecies gets it right, then I mean, so to limit it to just a book, then it's misleading. You know I mean? So now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this to you, English translation. Are you actually going to give this to me? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Thank you. So I mean, I'm going to shake your hands, but yeah, no. I, will, I will give you a free gift. It's all right. Um, okay. So now, the soul, you haven't thought about where it came from. And you said, how would we know? Yeah. Okay. And I'm saying that, is it important to know? I don't think, I don't think it's important to me to know. Why? Because the reason I say the soul can't exist and not exist at the same time. Because it couldn't have not existed and created itself. Right? Honestly, I'm not that deep. You <laughs> have to be deep, madam, because this is important because it all ties into um, your final destination. How much time have we got? It's still early. I com I'm committed to making dinner for my family, so I'm just going to the shop. But it's perfectly fine. I got time. How much time? So I can pace myself. Well, I'm thinking like ten more minutes, fifteen. Ten minutes is not time. That's that's a rush. I'm in a rush now. All right. Really? I'm gonna are have you to... spending here like? What, what were you thinking? Like huh? half an hour? I'm thinking until the conversation is done. Until well, I bore yes. you. I do, I'm just like thinking. Yeah. Like, no, that's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the pace. I'm gonna pick up the pace. I'm, I'm I'm taking so, it slow with you. I'm taking it slow with so, you. So what are you saying? Um, if it's important to know if there's creator. No, I me, think we've moved on from that uh, okay. in regards to the soul. <coughs> Excuse me. The soul couldn't exist and not exist at the same time. Yeah. So it couldn't have created itself. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. So then that means like it didn't exist. And then it created itself. So I'm saying, <coughs> what created the soul? Uh, I'm I asking you. Know. Yeah. Creator. Why maybe? Where did it come from? Does that make sense? Because it needs to be powerful. Think, it needs to I be think, intelligent. It needs to be move with a purpose. Does it make sense? So. 
God meets all of those criteria. It's, you know, in this age, you like me proof for everything, but it's a belief. It's up to you, madam. At the end of the day, my, my, one of the things I'm trying to do is convince you of a new concept. Does that make sense? So it's important for me to kind of connect with, to understand where you're coming from. Does that make sense? So do you need proof to believe what you believe? Uh, no, actually, because I believe something that doesn't have a proof. But I mean, I feel it. <coughs> yeah. That's but feelings point. can be wrong, no? It's kind of belief. But no, can you, did you not have a dream once? And it felt real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? And then it's like, it's not real. So it's like, you can't, you can't make such a big decision just on feelings. Does it make sense? Right now, <coughs> um, the person you are right now, and the person you're going to be in 10 years time, and the person you are right now, and the ten, from 10 years ago, 10 years ago. Oh my God, definitely different. Different, yes. different. Yeah, beliefs change too. Beliefs, like, so right now, um, those feelings have changed now. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. What you used to love, like, you know, I'll give an example of myself. I used to hate navy, the color navy. Very simple example, I like that. My wardrobe is full of navy. I like oh, navy no. and gray now. It's just, it's, just, it's just simple, it works. Does it make sense? Even though I'm not wearing it, because I just came from work. Okay. Let's not go there. Don't judge me. It was raining, all right? It is what it is. Yeah, I had to meet. Yeah, it's complicated. I had to a bit casual, a bit smart. But anyways, uh, saying you know, that's me. Work life, work life. Um, things change though. Doesn't make sense. So my feelings towards the color <coughs> navy has changed. So if I was gonna build my entire life and I was gonna risk my hereafter on a feeling. No puns intended. How do you feel about that? Fine, actually. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> I know you expect a different answer. No, 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 no. I expect I'm you actually, to be you. I'm fully right now in my scene to how I feel and how I make others feel. Like that, this is what I'm focusing on now. Yeah. Completely. Um, I've never been like that. I never used to care. Mm. I would just do things for myself. Mm. So, this conversation we're gonna surrender logic and rationale we're gonna go on feelings is that is it? goodbye oh, right. should thought, we say bye I, sorry i thought you were you were approaching another question and like don't don't do them uh, no 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 because i need to i need to know <laughs> how to approach the conversation yeah. through logic and reason or should we leave that in a box should we tie it up and just leave it somewhere because i assume <clears throat> You set an alarm when you wake up for work. Yeah? Like, and you don't do it with your eyes closed. You, you, you use your eyes and you, you make a conscious decision to, do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not like, ah, <clears throat> I'm going to wake up when I feel like it. No, I'd lose a job and I couldn't pay my bills. So, I'm just saying that, why do you choose some, Select, why, do you, why are you selective in regards to when you're going to use your rational brain, your rational mind? Yeah? And when it comes to something very important, like the hereafter, which I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't convinced you it's important. You have no reason to think it's important. But there's a chance that your decisions now, if you don't follow what the creator of the soul wants from you, then, then I'll be doomed. Yeah. And I don't want that. Do you not want that? I don't want that. I want to get into a good place once I die. Yeah. So, and that's where your soul goes. So. See, in Islam, we believe that yeah. good people's soul goes to a good place. Yeah. And bad people's souls go with Hitler. I think uh, most of religions do that. Um, most it, of the majority it's religions. Of, it's kind of common, like, not common sense, but it's kind of rational, right? To me, it is. Yeah. Does that make sense? No, I agree. Based, based, based on... I actually agree. Yeah. Thank I you. might not follow our religion, but that, that is what I think too. Yeah. So, you have a concept of heaven and hell? Yeah, yeah. People go to hell in your mind. People go to hell 
Oh, you, you don't, you don't look like somebody who believes in hell. Mind, we are in hell. This is it. Mm. This is Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. What do you mean? I'm oh, sorry. No, if we're in hell, then you're speaking to a hell dweller, oh, isn't it? No, not you. Just everything. No, no, that's it. That's that's a natural implication of what you're saying. <laughs> All of you hell people. But they yeah? can't see me because I didn't. Uh, you're blurred out. Consent. Yeah. <laughs> You're blurred out, you're blurred out, yeah. nobody cares. Um, yeah, okay. So, right now, so what are you doing to save yourself from hell? Because I'm going to say, I hate these conversations. I hate talking about hell. It's, it's tough. Yeah, because... <laughs> it made me a bit stressed, it's like, oh, hell. No, no, that's good. And then I'm going to convince you of the existence of God. But because of your dreadlocks, I'm having to go the long way around. Yeah. If you didn't have dreadlocks, the conversation would be a lot easier. I would like to hear what um, your religion or Muslim is about. Yeah. Um, Do this. Because I study religion. I try. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a very good synopsis of my religion. Yeah. After you answer three more questions. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Firstly. What do you need to do to protect yourself from hell? Question right, one. So in my Are you head, keeping count or am I keeping count? You keep count. You no, I'm keeping count. Here. I'm the leader, so in my you. head, in my heart, um, to protect myself from going to hell, I have to... I have to have so much like perspective on how I affect other people. I have to be conscious of what I do and and just be good. So make make people happy. Sometimes you know if it costs me, I have to be okay with it. Um, now, I don't want to waste one of my questions. Yeah. So I'm going to address what you're saying, but you don't even know what right and wrong is. It's all subjective. It is. So I guess. That's, so that's so you idea. wouldn't even know. Well, I have my life. If someone makes mistakes the entire life, yeah, yeah, then I believe they have another one. So, you know, they, they madam, madam, I've only got a few more questions. Don't, don't open up another kind of worms. Yeah. That's, did that answer the first question? It answered my first question, but I'm surprised. It's no, no, it didn't answer my first question. It's a answer to my question. I'm surprised that it satisfies you based on what we've spoken about. Does that make sense? So now, my second question, because throughout the conversation we realized, well, I've realized that, I forgot what I've realized, but yeah, so right now, my question that naturally arises is, you have a belief system, yeah. just based on no scripture, no God, no revelation, yeah. My question is, the one who created the soul, the one that created the heavens and the earth, would they not give you guidance and protect you from living your life aimlessly making mistakes? My belief is, that is what I feel. And bear in mind, I was raised uh, Catholic, so, you know, I was taught, uh, you know, I differentiate, I differentiate like, myself. I differentiate myself from. So I've been taught the Christian right and wrongs. So it's wrong to use somebody, you know. No, no, no. But you're you're relying on a religion you don't even believe in for guidance. Um, my question um, to yourself I'm was. I'm biased, I guess. No, no. I that 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 shows how, with all due respect, subjective and I don't want to use the word weak, but your morality your concept of right and wrong and goodness is coming from someone else's religion which you don't even believe in it's it's you're getting molded and changed and influenced by someone else's religion that you don't even believe it and i'm saying to you yeah i was forced when i was young but then then you're not even now, living your now, life now now I've got my own head to reflect on what I was taught and what I'm experiencing. But so everything, this is where it's all coming from. 
everything that you're building your thoughts and stuff like that yeah. is a product of your surroundings yeah, and, and my what you think is right now wasn't right a hundred years ago and it won't be right a hundred years from now yeah, no, it's not some of the things. Look at yourself from 10 years ago. Yeah. Your idea of what was right and wrong, you've changed as a person. Does it make sense? Right now, we live in a country where 50 years ago, there was a lifestyle which was illegal. What are you referring to? I don't want to say it because it's on camera. Yeah? I keep forgetting Now, that's good. Is it, it, You're intense, you, that's why. This is, is like very intense conversation. Yeah. Was I ready for this? You should see how intense I am when the cameras are off. Because right now, oh, like I'm, 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 I have to be like reserved. You know what I mean? Alright, yeah, obviously. Um, so what was I going to say? Um, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? Yeah, so there were 50 years ago, something, a lifestyle was illegal. Yeah? yeah. And now it's perfectly fine. That's politics. But then you're influenced by that. Does that make sense? Your your children, your offspring, are going to be influenced it's, by that. It's, it's sad, but it's environment, it's culture. Yeah. So it's you see, you see how you're influenced by so many different things. Yeah. Why don't you allow yourself to connect, be influenced by God, or at least know who God is? I think I'm learning my own way. I must be very annoying to you. But I'm, I am I am trying to learn my own. You're very annoying to everyone who's watching. You know in the comment uh, section. Don't put my name there, yo. We don't even know. Oh, I right, will see. We're going to have to edit out your name now. Uh, yes. Hopefully. Uh, editor, they're not going to edit out your name. No, I really like, I really like what, you know, this conversation. But it's like, but I want to learn a little bit from you. It's yes, 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 yes. I know yes. this is interview and I should be sharing my bits. My bits. No, 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 no. You're interviewing me. Go on, Bismillah. Yeah, the shoes. The shoes okay. have turned. Now, now it's your opportunity. Oh, okay. I don't think we had the three questions, though. Then I you know, asked three questions. I actually feel guilty that I limited myself to three questions. But oh, once I've, once we've had this conversation about Islam, going. we can we can keep yes, it going. Right. So Islam. And we can continue my question, line of questioning now, if you want. It's up to you. I have plenty of questions. Because share with me, how do you know what's right and wrong? I mean, I know it's there, but like, give me. Give me examples, maybe. Give me, thank give you. me some uh, context. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Interesting. Yeah. So, all this time we've been dancing around um, your perspective, morality, objective, based on feelings, emotions, environment, times. So, where do we get. Um, no, no, subjective. Yeah. Everything subjective that we've discussed now. Where do you get objective morality? Where do you get my, my objective idea of what's right and wrong? Yeah? And I'm saying the only way we can get something that's objective is when it's from God. Yeah? So God Almighty, the one who's created everything, is aware and understands the creation and is able to say what is objectively right and wrong and evil well otherwise we're just a product of our society and where we were born like yeah. what ends up happening is you know i have this conversation with atheists yeah who don't believe in a soul All right. yeah. and i say to them you know if you don't believe in a soul there's no difference between yeah i'm just i'm uh, just trying to picture that not believing in a soul Sorry. Sad way of not living, not. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, let me not let me not digress with that one because I was gonna make a point in regards to um, Siri, the phone. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, does a Siri have a in a thought of its own? Siri is just a product of programming. Yeah. And without a concept of a soul and without a creator then we just we have no control over anything where it's either nature or nurture you have no control over your nature due to the fact that it's genetics it's your parents it's dna so on and so forth you have no control over um, the the kind of environment you grew up in right yeah culture, yeah because of because it's like you don't choose who your friends are you don't choose um 
what primary school teachers you interacted with and what they taught you. Does that make sense? Because really and truly, you don't have an individual, you don't have an independent thought at all. It's just an amalgamation of conversations and things you've heard and adopting other people's world view. Does that make sense? So I'm saying in Islam, um, going back to your question now because I got distracted. In Islam, how do you know when something is right or wrong? Because Allah said so in a perfect book. So we have a concept that look, God Almighty will not just let us roam this universe, this planet, aimlessly. 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 Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. Should be more confident. Um, so would actually give us guidance through prophets and messengers and a holy scripture. Now, how do you know someone's a prophet? Yeah. It's a man chosen by God who's known in his community as someone who's trustworthy, someone of good character. Does that make sense? You can't just get a random stranger and it's like, I don't know who you are, how, do I, how can I trust you? So someone known to be trustworthy, you know what I mean? And then the community... Brothers, the brother's just going to park the bicycle right there. Yeah. Maybe a friend can join answering the question. Huh? I ask a question. Do you think it's a good idea? Um, no. We have an interview. Theology, by heaven and hell. So you see, this brother would have the, who will give the same answers as me. Okay. Yeah. He's an Akhi. 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 Yeah. Um, by the way, bro, you're on camera, yeah? We're filming this. Not today. I'm not Akhi. Yeah, until maybe just before Maghrib, 9 o'clock? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, oh, that just reminds me of the time limit because I need to feed my family. <laughs> Is it? Alright. Um, and I don't want you to rush the answer. No, 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 the answer... But the answer is there. The answer is there. I love reading books. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So Sorry, I'm not give... just books. I would love to read the Quran that I never did. I read about Ramadan when it was Ramadan. I did fast. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me finish insane. my answer and then I'm going to let you go. Yeah? Yes. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, so prophets, um, guidance, revelation, and then once they die, the message lives on through a perfect book, which you're holding in your hands. Yeah. Now, um, because it's been perfectly preserved, you can, we have a tradition of oral transmission. So you have people who, so basically it's from God to the angel Gabriel to the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and he spoke it because it was real to him people around him memorized it we've got over two million people who have memorized the quran word for word letter for letter dot for dot i know i've heard of the you have to study this word for word right not study memorize study at the end of the day like this is our divine guidance does that make sense so we want to connect with it because at the end of the day how else would we know what is wrong and right and it's, if it's, the if it's, the creator doesn't reveal it to us Huh? That's all of it. It's yeah, 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 yeah. That's over 6,000 verses in English from Arabic because it was revealed in Arabic and now it's a translation. Blessed. I'm blessed. When you hear next. I'll, I'll get your concept of writing from this. Yes. Oh, yeah, sorry. And just to finish it. Um, I'll give you the spiritual answer. Yeah. So what is right? Right is what pleases God. Yeah. What doesn't please God, and what is shown by the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So, um, Sunnah means the actions and the way shown by the Prophet Muhammad. Something he said, something he done, something he permitted to happen. These are all Sunnahs. Sunnah. Sunnah. Yeah. So that is our concept of right and wrong. So right now, um, I can tell you 
objectively, murder is wrong. Yeah? Um, because God said so. I can tell you, like, a few other things are wrong as well. Um, rape is wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, marrying a... Touching a woman that I'm not related to or is not married to me um, is wrong. How do you feel about that? Hi. That's actually so interesting because I'm now considering like what the pros and cons of what you just said, like that. that share it, share it. This is interesting. We're yeah. getting to the meat of it now. So, sorry, the concept of wrong, of touching a woman that you're not related to is wrong. I'm now thinking, oh, this, it has a lot of pros. Yeah. It makes sense. Like, rape is gone. Does it make sense? Exactly. Because you know. A lot of the rape cases is her word against his. Does that make sense? Like, oh, she consented, um, and then she's like, no, I consented, but I changed my mind, or I was drunk, or whatever. So he's like, well, in Islamic paradigm. It, it might be a silly question, but no, 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 if no, no, somebody no. needs help, obviously you can cross that for one help, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, no, no, there's, it, there's always exceptions, like extreme yeah, circumstances, yeah? Like, we had an incident a couple of, last, on Saturday, there was a girl, like, she was with her mates, and then she was, like, seizing and having a seizure, and she couldn't breathe, and she was just in a very bad state. All of her friends was intoxicated, like, not even, it wasn't even alcohol, it was taking some weird drugs. Does that make sense? So I had to, like, support her and, like, help her neck and, like, get her into, do my first aid training. And again, that's cause I do to save a lot. Yeah, yeah, now you go. I live in this area. Yeah. Is this what you think like on the, on the next day? So basically, because um, we're in a holy month, holy month, holy ten days, holy ten days. Um, that is a good question. Um, I don't actually know the answer to that. I know it's holy because Allah said so. Allah swears by these ten days. But the specific reason. I've just embarrassed myself and I'm going to have to look into it and gain knowledge on this topic. Homework, homework. Cut this out, cut it out. Um, that's the camera, man. Um, but yeah, because God said so. So then um, we're going to be try to be here for the next um, remaining eight days. Because um, there's a lot of blessing in these days, isn't it? So my regular days, I like to give the long answer to everything. Um, I like I'm, that too, you know, uh, we need to get into it sometimes. Especially thank you, thank you. Um, so I'm here every Saturdays. Saturdays. Every Saturdays from 2.30 to maybe about 7. Yeah, every Saturdays. Or I'm going to be here every day this week up until the 28th, excluding... Huh? That's not 10 days, that's, that's a whole month. How? Oh, no. what? It's 20th, right? Yeah, it's 20th. Up to 28th. Oh, yeah, it's 8 days. Yeah, no, in fact, up until the 27th, excluding Sunday and Friday. Oh. Yeah. Sunday, and family day, Friday, I'm going to be in Whitechapel. All right. Gotta make time for family, you know what I'm saying? I know this because I I live I share a house with a Pakistani family. Okay, mashallah. They had Ramadan, uh, they had a lot of iftar events in their house. Yeah. During Ramadan. Have good food as well. I unfortunately I was a part of it. What? But I just I don't know I don't know I never asked I guess to be a part of my family. Then. But I saw you could have you could have if you want to. Family. Yeah. So, now that you mentioned like, your family on Sunday, it's like, wow. No, because the fact of the matter is, look, in Islam, um, for example, of touching a woman, yeah, everything is, everything that's forbidden, there's a good reason for it, but then there's a permissible way of doing it. Does it make sense? So it's like, you know, don't, you can't touch a woman unless you're married to her, but then um, it enforces, it saves marriages, it saves families. But then you obviously build a connection without the touch and then you get married, right? 
but how are you going to build a connection? Because I'm, I'm a firm believer, now, I'm a firm believer in arranged marriages. Okay, okay we should talk about this next time, but well, let's not start this now, but guys, yeah. I, never, I never met anybody who would say that. Anybody it works, by the way, anybody it works. Young? It works. And it makes sense. And I met somebody young that um, she was in an arranged, mar arranged marriage. And I remember she wasn't happy with <laughs> No, there's exceptions, and so, the fact of the matter is just the concept makes sense. It doesn't mean the implementation is correct. Uh, Next Saturday, the Saturday afterwards. Maybe. Yeah? Thanks so much. Um, how do we do that? Ridwan. Ridwan. Yes. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to talk to Pleasure. you. What's your takeaway from this conversation? And I'm conscious that you need to go. So. That's my takeaway. That, yeah. I don't actually believe in any sort of written or um, firm guidance. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know yet. Damn it. If you said it was a good, it was a bad thing, I'd be like, Alhamdulillah, success. It was worth it. <laughs> yeah? Well, I might not change anything, but I will definitely make I'm concerns. glad. The fact of the matter is, it's not about you changing. It's, it's about you learning. absorbing the information and you're susceptible to it because you listen for this phone. Can I say something to the microphone? Yeah, if nothing changes in my life, at least I learn about other people and their perspective on living and then I can make better friends and better help to others. That's nice, but I want you to get paradise. I know, right? No, because it sounds I know nice. You do. I no, know. no, no, but my point is, if there's a heaven and hell, if this conversation hasn't helped you to enter heaven or get closer to heaven, because the fact of the matter is, and I'm going to let you go. Um, for someone who believes in heaven and hell, you don't seem to be investing a lot of time and effort to get to heaven. You seem to be just going with the flow. On that note, I'm going to let you go. You may go with the flow. The flow is good. It's a good flow. It's a, I'm thinking about this flow. I reflect. It's not just... It's but how many flat. other things in your life flat. do you allow to go with the flow? Does it make sense? If there was a man that walked past us you was really attra attracted to, you wouldn't be like, I'm going to let it go with the flow and just come back to me. You're going to be like, make an effort. If there's a job application... No, I'm you, I'm not reckless going with the flow in a no, no. sense. No, 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 no. Every day, day-to-day to day things, making food for your family, you're rigid, you're strict, you're firm. But when it comes to heaven or hell, I'm going to go with the flow. I appreciate because you go to work. If you had your own business, I'd be like, shall I tell you something? She hey, shot I, me in the phone. I have the phone, but I have a phone. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> Madam. It's there now. So food for food, yeah. food for family on the way. Yeah. Yeah. Madam, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much and for your time. Cause... Now, I've enjoyed this conversation. I wish you the best. And I look forward to a part two. I need yeah. to come back to you. Yeah. Yes. Have a good day. See you later. Thank you. And thank you, and thank you, and thank you, and thank you.